In this tutorial, we want to draw this logo here for a lab in Inkscape. I'm using Inkscape 1.0 and we are drawing the nitrogen atom with protons, neutrons and electrons for a lab. So we go for our circle tool, go to the circle tool and draw, go to shift control and draw a perfect circle. Now we go to object fill and stroke to get this dialog box because we don't want a fill, we just want a stroke. Now first of all, I would, um, with the stroke um, selected, you can choose the color here, but since I'm, I'm not using I prefer to use this color here, not to search here. Just go to shift and then choose this color here for the stroke. Now for the fill, we'll just go here, go to fill here and just remove the fill. So we have this here, we select it and then we go to shift control. Oh no, first of all, we have to do a duplicate. So as you selected, go to edit and do duplicate. And is the duplicate go to shift control and then we'll push it in a bit. Something like this is reasonable. Okay. Now after this, we want to draw our electrons, neutrons and protons. So we go for our circle tool and then we draw three circles. Go to shift control or just draw one circle. We can do even a duplicate of them. Now this we want it to have a fill. Let's give this one the fill, this color here. So just give it a fill, that color here. With this one, now we don't need, we don't want a stroke. So just go to stroke here and remove the stroke. Now we want to do duplicates of this. So we go to um, our select tool and then you can also do duplicates by just right clicking with your mouse and pressing duplicate. Right clicking and pressing duplicate. So we have three um, different things so we color and then minimize them now this we would it's already selected so we give this a, a radial gradient sorry we are still in the stroke i have to go to the fill so if you are still in the stroke go to fill and then it's the fill that we want to give a radial gradient so go to radial gradient and after that um, go to create an edit gradient tool and then we click click here at the there's there are these you see this thing here yes at the end here click it and then we want to give it this um, darker shade here and then that's it for this one now we want to do another color so we first of all color this yellow so come here select the second one here and give it this yellow color and then afterwards we also give it a radar gradient so we go to our radar gradient and then we go for our um, gradient tool and then here go and select here and give it this color here and then the inner one let's give it um, a lighter shade something like this is okay now the third one we go through the same thing we come here and then we I think I gave it the color red yes this one here and then you go for our gradient or we give it a gradient you can also just directly come with a gradient tool but we give it a, a radial gradient and then with our gradient tool 
we press here and give it the color red again and then this one we give it more or less this color or maybe this even okay now we are done with what we wanted to do with these ones now we we, we are dealing with the nitrogen atom so we are going to uh, have to have seven of these but first of all we, we let's um, minimize them make them small so we go to shift control and make this a bit smaller something like this is okay for them to have the same size or oh, yes you select right click this and go to copy you can also do it say edit copy and then we want to give them the same size more or less so we go to edit and then go to um, paste size paste size and then come and select this so select this and go to edit and then we go to paste size so that size the same size the same thing we repeat that and go to edit and then we go here and say paste size so we have everything now we need seven of these but we can either generate them as clones and just pick them up or just um, uh, on the fly do duplicates let's see here maybe we make a clone so we go to edit and then go to um, clones and then go to create tile tiled clones okay and then when you click it when you have this dialog box coming up first of all reset everything try to reset everything so that we don't have any rotation or anything we just want to have um seven but it actually keeps the parent so let's do six and then we'll have seven so we just do this make sure you have exclude tile and just do create now i think we have seven here so we place i'm um, sorry we we pick them and place them okay for them to be uh, nicely positioned you can use your guide so um, you can pick a guide here this and place it somewhere here we need another guide here yeah? so we'll pick one here and bring it here make sure it meets at the center so try to press this and this to get the center more or less of everything so that you you place the guides directly at the center let me see whether we are at the center this is not at the center so I move it a bit now let me see okay one thing also I forgot let's go here and enable um, uh, snapping and then after that go here snap other points and then we want to snap centers so click here and click here enable this this and this while you enable this big thing here so that everything is lying in the center i mean this and this they have they should have the same um, center so that's so place it um, if you don't have it at the center try to um, get uh, you see try to get each one of them in the center and then place this at the center okay now we have this this will guide us we place this we take another one and place somewhere here we take this one and place here we take this and place there we need three more we place this one somewhere oops 
yeah i would want it to be a bit aligned so maybe ah uh, anyway i place th this one we can imagine and places maybe it's better let me see here whether i, I distorted mine a bit yes okay it's okay now now i place this one also here and this you can also if you want if you want to for it to be very exact you can bring your this thing here and place it here so you know you have it now um do we have seven one two three four five six seven actually we have seven we do the same thing with this okay we generate some okay and then we pick um we we need seven one let's generate this already so we have also some okay so that's when we place them we, we just place them lying on each other more or less something like this will work and then maybe this we try to place them I would maybe place all the assuming maybe the green is protons or so we place a one two I have five there already and six and then I have my sub seventh now we come here this one two three four five six yeah you can and disable the um snapping now go here and just disable them it's not needed we don't need it any snapping anymore so we have this here we can also you can easily also uh, delete this thing by double clicking it and go to delete you can also bring it back if you want there are so many options to deal with it okay so now we have um oh i missed one so we have one two three four five six oh that's why this <laughs> okay so we place this one also here it should be aligned anyway it's okay i think we are good you can arrange it a bit to look nice oops yes okay now we want to write dr j's lab here so we go for our um edit test object tool and then i'm using the font i'm using is century gothic you can also get the font easily by going to um test and then you go to test font and then you get this and then you can scroll up and down or use this go up and down and i'm using this okay and the font i'm using is 12 you can i mean depends you can change it now uh, i'm going to write i uh, write i'm sorry i have dr j's lab oops okay so with this um done we because what we are going to perform it's it has to what we we need a path so click on this inner circle and go to path object to path to convert it to a path and then come here select this go to shift and select this and go to test and then put on path 
now you see this puts it around here but we want it inside so what we can do first of all let's try to rotate it so click it again and then have the rotation hand and move it a bit to rotate it somewhere here now we want to flip it inside so go to uh, flip selected object horizontally and then it flips it inside and then we can still move it to the position that we think um, is good I, I think I will move it a bit to this side more or less I think we are good oh I forgot the color I'm using here is white but first of all let's put our background then we change the color to white so just go for your um, rectangle and square tool and then we draw a reasonable rectangle over what we've done now um after that we want to change the color but first let's move it down so go for your selection tool and then lower to bottom so that we have it like this and then afterwards we are going to use the color i use the a blue color that we used initially so i th i think i used this yes so this is the color you can adjust it a bit if you think it's too big by going to shift control and then moving it a bit like this to have it um, aligned nicely now the next thing we want to do is our test here we want to make it white or else we it cannot be red so just select it and make it white so so we are done with what we wanted to do so this is what we wanted to do this is the um the nitrogen atom thank you for watching please help me by subscribing to my channel and please come again thank you bye